my dear friends welcome to rajshekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 205 in this lecture we will try to understand mathematical formulation of support vector machines before understanding this particular lecture i request you to go through lecture number 203 204 and 205 this particular lecture is continuation of lecture number 205 just try to recall in our lecture number 203 what we were assuming we were assuming these points as positive points positive points how we are assuming these points as we were assuming that this is negative set of points isn't it yes now just just recall in lecture number 205 we were saying that these vectors this is these vectors are known as this vector this vector and these are known as support vectors isn't it just see this one what is this plane this plane is pi pi what is the equation of the plane w transpose x plus b equal to 0 we already discussed linear algebra fundamentals in which we described about this plane equation w transpose x plus b equal 0 this is pi plus w transpose x plus b equal to 1 this is pi minus w transpose x uh, plus b equal to minus 1 now let us take each of these point first start with we will we will consider with particular point which point let me consider this point what is this consider this particular point what about this point which point this is the point we are considering this point isn't it yes what is this let us assume this point is half half way this is this is half way for this point what is your y a what we were assuming positive w transpose what is the value of y i into w transpose x i plus b we already know that its label is positive positive w transpose x i plus b what is this w transpose y i into w transpose x i plus b which is nothing but 0.5 why because we are assuming this point is half the way in between pi plus and pi therefore let this is 1 this is w transpose x plus b equal 0 if it is half the way let it be 1 into w transpose x i plus b that is 0.5 which can be written as 1 minus 0.5 therefore y i into w transpose x i plus b is equal to 1 minus what is this value 1 minus what is this 1 minus 0.5 isn't it yes 1 minus 0.5 so this is about this particular point let me consider one more point just say this is there is another point just let me consider this point what about this particular point its positive point yi is 1 w transpose xi plus b let me assume this is a half the way in between w transpose x plus b equal 0 and w transpose x plus b equal to minus 1 it is half the way it is half the way between pi and pi minus so for this point your w transpose xi plus b into yi your yi is positive anyway yi into w transpose xi plus b this is this is zero isn't it this is this one is w transpose x plus b equal zero this is minus 1 this yi is positive into minus 0.5 you will get minus 0.5 because for pi for pi what is pi pi is w transpose x plus b equal 0 for pi minus w transpose x b equal to minus 1 isn't it what is your yi value yi is 1 w transpose xi plus b that is 0.5 that is minus 0.5 that is 1 into minus 0.5 therefore minus 0.5 which can be written as how can i write this yi into w transpose xi plus b equal to this 0.5 can be written as 1 minus 1.5 isn't it now this is let me consider one more point which point let me consider this point 
what it says for this point what happens your y i into w transpose x i plus b is equal to minus 1.5 isn't it this is minus 1.5 this is itself is minus 1 w transpose x plus b isn't it what is your y i y i is positive and w transpose positive into 1 uh, minus 1.5 Therefore, you will get 1 into minus 1.5 is 1 minus 1.5 can be written 1 into minus 1.5 is minus 1.5 minus 1.5 can be written as 1 minus 2.5. Let me say this is j i this 2.5 is a parameter j i isn't it. So, the one thing you have to notice let me call this term this term this 2.5 as j i j i is special symbol that we used. For other points also we, we, we wrote like that just just go back and check isn't it how we are writing just go back just go back and check here we are writing j i is equal 0 0.5 isn't it here we are writing what is this uh, j i is equal to 1.5 for this particular point for this particular point what is your j i j i is, uh, is equal to 2.5 is uh, 1 minus 2.5 isn't it now for different points you are getting different j i values isn't it for example if you take this particular point y i into w transpose x i plus b is one point what will you get you will get 1.5 isn't it what is y i into w transpose x i plus b is equal to 1.5 1.5 is obviously greater than 1 what is this this is correctly classified point we create a new variable here what we did we created a new variable j i this is very very important if positive points lies on the positive side just see this positive point is lies on the positive side isn't it therefore if positive points lies in the positive side then your j i is equal to 0 yes positive point is lie lie in the positive side isn't it if positive point lie on positive side then j i equal 0 if the negative point lies on negative side then that case also if negative point this is negative point lies on negative side in that case also j i is equal to 0 isn't it let me say like this what it says just see for positive points lies in this region j i equal 0 for negative points lies in this region j i equal 0 as j i increases just see this is the plane equation let me say this one what is this this is 0 0.5 what 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 it what it indicates this uh, this point this what is this this positive point 0.5 away here is what is your j i value for this particular point you are getting y i into w transpose x i plus b equal 0.5 j i equal 0 0.5 what does it mean this this particular point is 0 0.5 units away from original hyperplane which is which one is original hyperplane for this positive point pi plus is original hyperplane isn't it j i is greater than 0 0 0.5 is greater than 0 for example what is j i for this particular point j i equal 0 this for, for this particular point j i equal 0 for this particular point j i equal 0 isn't it as as we were discussing in previous slide isn't it now just let me consider one more point what about this point what you are getting 1 minus for for this particular point your j i equal to 0 0.5 one what is this 1 minus 0.5 for which point we are discussing this one for this point this is 0 that's what we are saying this is 0 0.5 away from your original plane this is 0 0.5 isn't it anyway this is uh, that's what it says uh, this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 away just see what it says 0 0.5 j i is equal 0 0.5 this is 0 0.5 distance units away from original plane what is its original plane is pi plus isn't it in similar manner if you consider this one this point what is this point this point is a positive point but it is in the negative area therefore what is this j i j i is equal to 2.5 what is the distance this distance is 2.5 units means it is 2.5 units away from its original plane isn't it for for all these val for all this j i value equal 0 
isn't it? That's what that's what we were that's what we were saying, isn't it? J j equals zero. I can say I can say just just see this one. Yes, y i into w transpose x i plus b equal to what is this? This is what is this? Uh, this is minus minus point five. This this is how much distance? It is one point five distance from original plane. This is my this is original plane. Pi plus this is positive point. Therefore, how much distance it is from its original um, original plane? One point five. This j i indicates distance from its original plane, isn't it? If j i equal to zero, it is cor correctly classified, isn't it? Yes, j yes, yes. Now just see this one. J i equal zero. If y i into w transpose x i plus b greater than or equal to one. Y i into w transpose x i plus b is greater than or equal to one means that is correctly classified point. I already discussed this concept in lecture number two zero five. Just refer my previous lecture two zero three, two zero four, two zero five, where I explained this concept. Just try to understand. When can I say point is correctly classified? Y i into W transpose x i plus b greater than or equal to. In such case, what is j i value? J i value is zero. That is correctly for correctly classified points as per pi plus and pi minus. But j i equal zero for correctly classified points. For what about misclassified points? What does it mean? But j i equal zero and it is equal to the some units of distance away from the correct hyperplane in the incorrect direction j i is telling me whether point is correctly classified or not and how far away from the correct hyperplane in incorrect directions incorrect direction just go through this particular lecture and refer it once and once or twice if you have any difficulty please keep a comment in my next lecture i will continue this mathematical formulation of support vector mission just refer my previous lecture related to this is 205 where i discussed this this mathematical formulation of svm he started in lecture number 205 only before understanding this particular lecture i request you to go through this lecture number 205 once if you refer that particular lecture you can understand this lecture without any difficulty thank you very much